In this video, I'll be testing Canon's latest firmware update version 1.2.0 for the PowerShot V10 camera. The update promises enhanced image stabilization performance, so I'll compare it against the previous version 1.1.0 to see if there is an improvement. I'll also walk you through the firmware update process. So let's get started. So right now, as you can see, I am starting with the previous version 1.1.0 to establish the baseline before testing the new update. You also notice that I am recording in 4K at 23.98 frames per second. However, before I proceed, I want to briefly demonstrate the camera's performance without image stabilization enabled. This will help us see the improvement, but this one is for the previous version 1.1.0. Here I'm walking normal, perhaps with a slightly slower ninja-like pace. And here the image stabilization on for, again, the version 1.1.0. Again here, I'm walking normal with a slightly slower ninja-like pace. By the way, so you know, I'll be walking exact same route for the updated version 1.2.0. All right, here in vlogging style. Alright, here I get to show you how to update the firmware using the Canon Camera Connect app. Turn on the camera, press the menu button. Under the wrench, you can see the current firmware version. Go to the connect icon with the N arrows. Make sure your phone is connected. Open up the app and you should see new firmware has been released message. Select download and you'll be brought to a screen where you can see the current version and the latest version. Go ahead and select download again. Agree and download. And now just wait. Connect camera. Join. And now wait a little longer. While it's transferring, you can see the light flashing. Wait for the camera to reboot. Now on the camera's screen, confirm to go from version 1.1.0 to 1.2.0 by selecting OK and wait even longer.
Once done, just turn the camera back on. And you can go back to check the version number. Select the wrench icon. You can see here version 1.2.0. Now let's go out again to test the camera. You can see 1.2.0. Now once again, I'm going to have the image stabilization off. This will help us appreciate the improvement, if any, that the new firmware might bring. Finally, with the 1.2.0 with image stabilization on. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two firmware versions. For me, this side-by-side -side helped me see the improvement. Maybe not dramatically, but I can see it. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. Do come back for the next video.